Yeah, in this lecture, we are going to write a program to perform matrix addition and multiplication. We shall see first uh, about uh, the matrix addition. So, in order to perform matrix addition, so we are going to have a mat1 and mat2, matrix1 and matrix2. In order to perform the matrix addition between these two things, uh, we, we need to check that the order of the matrix1 and the matrix2 should be equal. That is the number of rows in first one and the second one should be equal and the number of columns in the first matrix and second matrix should be equal. In case if the matrix orders are not equal, we can terminate that addition is not possible. So we need an array, uh, an array in order to arrange the set of elements because a matrix is going to contain a list of elements. So we need an array in order to store the list of elements of the matrix one and as well as matrix two and the resultant we are going to store it into another matrix. A result matrix. Let us proceed with the program. So print enter the order of the matrix order of matrix 1 matrix 1 rows equal to so I need to scan the number of rows so for which so I'm taking the variable known as r1 for which I'm going to store the value taking the input and as it should be a local kind of variable I'm declaring it as my and let us chomp this particular respective variable not to store the slash and value. So we have taken the number of rows and the same would be continued even for the number of columns to enter the number of columns. And they should be C1. And before which we need to have three matrices. Matrix 1 is going to be at the rate of mat1, comma, at the rate of mat2, matrix2 and I want to store the result into another matrix and array which I am taking it as a result. And initially, I'm going to set them as a null list. So matrix one is with null list, matrix two with null list, and matrix three are going to be with null list. So no values. So we have taken the order of the matrix one. The same would apply even for the matrix two. Let us copy and paste it. So to enter the order of matrix two. So now we have successfully taken these matrix one and matrix two orders. And now we, it is time to check uh, whether the order order of the matrix both the matrix are equal that is the matrix taller r1 should be equal to dollar r2 and dollar c1 should be equal to dollar c2 if so we can proceed with the process of matrix addition we shall see that one uh, in case if this is false else there should be an else part uh, we, we can no further proceed with the matrix multiplication so the error message should be prompted stating that print invalid order of the matrix matrices addition addition not possible and this is how it is going to terminate the program so in case if, if the order of the matrices are matching they are equal then we can proceed with the process first in the foremost we need to read the elements into the matrix 1 and matrix 2 so for which I am going to use a for each loop for each loop and I'm declaring a variable dollar i into which dollar i runs from zero to number of rows. Uh, so it's going to be a list of values ranging from zero to the number of rows is dollar r one. As uh, matrix element starts from zero element, so it should be zero to r minus one. So r minus one is going to be taken, and this is for the, the first loop is for the number of rows. And later I'm going to consider another loop, another for each loop which is going to consider dollar j which is going to run the list for the column elements so I'm going to consider again it from 0 to the range is going to be end with dollar c1 and here we are going to read the values so in order to read the values we have already know that we have std in let us just use the angular braces open and closed and I need to store the value into matrix 1 so as it they are going to be only single values we have to use dollar it's matrix 1 of dollar i and it's dollar j so i throw j column element is going to be entered and always we need to chomp any value that we are going to take it as an input from the keyboard so this is how uh, we are going to read the values so the set of values are going to be read from this particular one uh, the same would be so before before the for loop i'm writing a print statement to understand things much better so enter dollar r1 star dollar c1 number of elements elements into matrix 1 so that uh, it's going to ask us the element so that we can proceed with the process and uh, next the, uh, the same thing I'm going to repeat even for the second loop 
let us copy it paste r2 by c2 actually the the their orders are equal so can can write even r1 and c1 also uh, just to make it to understand you much better i'm i'm declaring in that way uh, this is going to be r2 and this is going to be c2 and this is matrix 2 so we have uh, got uh, the two matrices successfully read now we need to, to perform the operation of addition so i'm copying the loops again for a equal to 0 i less than either r1 or r2 and j equal to 0 to less than equal to up to c2 or c1 and here we need to perform the operation where i'm going to add up the two things dollar of matrix 1 of dollar j element of matrix 1 plus we need to add with the matrix 2 element and the answer needs to be stored into the matrix result so the result of dollar i dollar j and i wanted to display the matrix 1 and matrix 2 in in a, in a matrix uh, values and as well as the result for which i'm going to use again the looping part so let us copy this one paste it here matrix 1 is so it's going to be displayed at the bottom so i have to display the values so for which i'm going to use the print statement so the value that i want to print is it's a individual element value so it's going to be print dollar of matrix 1 with the space i'm going to add it with the semicolon and the elements are going to be printed in the respective row then uh, we need to make the cursor to move to the next line so i'm going to go out of the loop and i'm going to press slash n so the matrix 1 is going to be printed now in the same manner i want to proceed even with the matrix 2 matrix 2 here i'm going to just change mat 2 and we shall proceed with the printing of the result so here it is addition is so i have to print about the result and let us save the program it's matrix addition dot plx so we have successfully saved the program if any kind of errors encounter uh, we shall correct them i'm running the code now everything is fine so enter the number of uh, matrix one rows so i'm entering it as two columns as two and it's asking me the matrix two's order so i will enter it as two and let us enter it as three so it is two by two is the matrix one two by three is going to be matrix three so incorrect uh, values so it has to print the invalid order of the matrix matrices so addition is not possible Let's, okay we here we made a mistake it actually said r minus one and here we have to take c minus one the same has to be repeated everywhere we need to change the content of the code is correct now uh, let us run the code once again i'm saving it so it's two by three and again two by three so now it has to take two into three six elements so one two three four five six now it is asking me to enter two by three matrix for the matrix two i am entering it as one zero one zero one zero one. so these are the elements and we have one two three four five six as a matrix one and this is one zero ten zero one if we add those values we can see that the addition is successfully uh we achieved hope you understood uh, the matrix addition program we shall go through even for the matrix multiplication let's uh, save this program with another name save as it's going to be matrix multiplication dot plx so i'm just going to modify some of the part matrix multiplication we need two two matrices so far everything is correct but in matrix multiplication if you wanted to perform if you wanted to perform the matrix multiplication the order of the matrix should be something like this is the order of the matrix is n by m the other matrix should be an order of m by some some l so that is the number of row columns in the first matrix should be equivalent to the number of rows in the second matrix so vice versa is not correct but the number of rows in the first matrix that we have taken should be uh, now let us change the logic for this program so the logic is c1 should be equivalent to dollar r2 and, uh, and we are going to enter the two matrix elements and here comes the something else known as the operation part so i need to create another loop for each for each dollar k and uh, we are going to run the loop starting from going to be r1 c2 dollar k is going to run from 0 to dollar c1 i mean dollar c1 minus 1 here we are going to perform the operation so the operation is going to be something like this uh, dollar of matrix 1 dollar i dollar j dollar k 
needs to be multiplied with I'll explain you this part. Uh, let us uh, write the code first. Matrix 2 element is going to be multiplied with 8th element and uh, every individual elements need to be added and it's going to be dollar something like a C. This content needs to be added up. I'm going to store it into dollar C itself. So initially dollar C needs to be declared. So my dollar C initial value with 0 and this final result we are going to store it into result value so dollar result of is equivalent to dollar c so this is how so far we have done and we can print the matrix one here it's going to be r1 it's going to be c1 and it's going to be r2 and c2 and here the multiplication going to run from r1 and the order is going to be at C2 and the result is going to be printed. So let us uh, run the code and check if any kind of errors are there. I'm running code and uh, for example let us enter it's a 2 by 3 matrix and I have to enter any matrix starting with 3 by 4 or 3 by 2. I, went, I will enter 2 by 3 itself and it, should, it says that invalid order of the matrix matrix multiplication is not possible. So everything is fine so far. Let us read on the code once again. I'm now I'm giving a 2 by 3 matrix and I'm giving a 3 by 2 matrix. So 2 by 3 elements need to be entered. 1, 2, 2, 1, and 2. So this is the matrix 1 and 3 by 2 uh, needs to be entered. I'm going to enter 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, and 0. The rest of the elements. So if you see, these are the elements that I had at the 2 by 3 order and a, a, a 3 by 2 order. The first row with the first column will be added up. We are going to get the answer as 4. The first row with the first column is going to give us 0. And the, the same manner is going to happen. So we are done with the matrix addition and multiplication structure fully. And before which uh, let me explain you the logic of the matrix multiplication. Here is the entire logic of the matrix multiplication. If you see here, what exactly happens over here is um, Whenever we try to multiply two matrices, okay, uh, the first row, uh, the first row needs to be multiplied with the first column elements. Uh, here, the order of the matrices are like uh, R1 by C1, and this is going to be R2 by C2. And the final matrix that we are going to obtain according to these orders is going to have a R1 by R1 by C2 order, the matrix. So uh, when a row and a column is going to be multiplied, okay, we are going to perform an extra operation. For that extra operation, I'm going to take this respective loop over here, where first I'm multiplying uh, the first row, first column element with the first row, first column element. First time multiplying them, then that result is to be added to the multiplication of the next this element and the next element, and and further the result again needs to be added with this particular element and the last element. So the row and column elements are going to be multiplied and further added which is going to be repeated uh, the column one number of times. So for that reason I have created a loop stating over here. So the order of the matrix is going to be from 0 to R minus R1 minus 1 and columns are going to be 0 to C2 minus 1 and the internal operation for calculation of the value multiplication with addition. So initial value I am keeping it as 0. This is going to run uh, depending upon the number of column elements and that is 0 to C1 minus 1. And finally after performing the operation I am going to store it into the result part. Hope you understood. For more video lectures and technical information uh, please subscribe to our channel and see your valuable feedback. Thank you.